Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform photos into the look of steel engravings like we see on Paper Money. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one and the others from Shutterstock. First, let's check its size by pressing Ctrl-Alt-I on Windows or Command-Option-I on a Mac. Or you could go to Image and Image Size. Make its width approximately 2000 pixels and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. Its height can be any amount. Check Resample and choose Preserve Details 2.0. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black and White. We'll convert our black and white image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as replace it with a different photo if we want to without having to redo the effects. To do this, shift click the bottom layer to make it active as well and click the icon at the upper right. Click Convert to Smart Object. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with 50% gray. To do this, press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the Fill window, or you can go to Edit and Fill. Open the Contents list and pick 50% gray. Convert this layer into a smart object as well. Before we add any textures, let's check our foregrounded background colors. If they aren't black and white, press D on your keyboard. If they're inverted, press X. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Halftone Pattern. The size is 4, the contrast is 0, and the pattern type is Dot. Click the plus icon to duplicate the filter and click Torn Edges to replace the copy. Make the image balance 25, the smoothness 11, and the contrast 1. Go to Filter, Distort, and Twirl. Twirl it 100. Change its Blend Mode to Hard Mix. Right now, the engraving texture is too large. We'll rectify this by doubling our document's image size. Go to Image and Image Size. Change the pixels to Percent. Make sure the Chain Link icon is active between the width and the height. This links them together. In either field, type in 200. The texture retains the original size on our image because it's a smart filter. To see the entire image, press Ctrl or Command-0 to fit it onto the canvas, or press Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard. Next, we'll increase the brightness and details of the shadows. Make the subject active, and go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. By dragging the shadows amount to the left or right, it decreases or increases the brightness in the shadows. For this image, I'll keep its default amount at 35%. Feel free to adjust it based on the characteristics of your image. Next, we'll colorize it. Make the top layer active. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Solid Color. In the hexadecimal field, Type in 0, E, 3, D, 0, 0, or any other dark color you'd like for your engraving to be. Change the blend mode to screen. If you want to increase the size of our subject within the parameters of your document, click your subject to make it active and open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command-T. 
If you see this message, it's just letting us know that the filters will be temporarily turned off until after we use the transform tool. Click OK or press Enter or Return. At the top, make sure the chain link icon is active between the transform's width and height. This links them together. Hover your cursor over the W or the H, and when your cursor changes into a scrubby slider, click and drag it to the right. To reposition it, just drag your image. Then click the check mark at the top. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.